everybody, it's time for another story and this story is called Don't Rock the Boat. It's about some people who went on a boat to try and catch some fish. Have you been on a boat? I like going on rowboats on the lake. I like doing that sort of thing. Peter and his friends had fished all night long but they hadn't caught a single fish. Do you think they look a bit sad because they haven't caught any fish? I think so. As they rowed their boats to shore, the colours of the morning sky danced on the water. They didn't go to bed, they were up all night looking for fish and they didn't find any. But Peter, James and John didn't care about the sunrise. They were tired and grumpy. Oh dear, that's not good is it? They climbed out of the boats and tossed their nets into the water. It was time to wash the slippery, slimy seaweed out of the nets. Oh, I bet that doesn't feel nice, getting all the slippery, slimy seaweed out. Peter spread his nets on the sand and waited for them to dry. He was very unhappy about not catching fish. He always caught fish. Do you think he's a bit grumpy? I don't like it when I try to do something and I can't do it. Then Peter heard someone coming. He looked up. It was the Lord Jesus. Jesus asked Peter to take him for a ride in his boat. And Peter gladly did. Because they were friends, didn't they? Throw in your nets, said Jesus. Peter was surprised. We fished all night, he complained, and we didn't catch anything. But okay, if you want me to. So Peter obeyed. As soon as the net hit the water, it was filled with lots and lots of wriggling fish. Look how many fish there are. He must have been happy now to have caught so many fish. Hurry! Peter yelled, bring the other boat. James and John jumped into their boat and rowed as fast as they could. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Peter and his friends tugged and tugged, Ugh, pulling the nets in. Oh, these fish are so heavy, they laughed. Now they were very happy. Can you see how happy they are pulling in all of the fish? The men pulled in so many fish that their boats could barely float. The boats are too heavy to float. Peter and his friends rowed slowly back to shore. They had never had such a catch like this before. They have to be very careful, don't they? Because the boat is so low in the water because it's so full of fish. Do you think that bird wants to steal a fish to eat for itself? I wonder if he will. <laughs> Peter was amazed. Only God could have brought that many fish into the nets. It was wonderful to go fishing with Jesus. But Jesus told him there was something better than catching a lot of fish. Follow me, Jesus said. I will make you fishers of men. Peter, James and John left their nets and followed Jesus. And they went out. When he says fishing for men, he doesn't mean with a fishing line. He means making friends with lots of people and helping them when they need help and showing them that they're really important. Because everybody's important, isn't it? And we need to look after each other. That was good. And to tell them all about Jesus, who was a really good friend to have. Look, I think the bird's going to steal one of the fish. <laughs> I think he wants the green one. Do you think he wants the green one? I think so. Good. Well, I'll see you next time for some more story time. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.